The following is a conversation between His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and Yogeswar Das Prabhu, recorded August 10, 1973, in Paris, France. Then become tiger, fox, cat, dog, this is very big. Mm. What are these different species of life? They do not they do not accept that the soul exists at the human level. And that is that a foolishness. Is that foolishness? Why does not exist? What is the proof of existence of the soul in the body? What is the proof? First of all, we have to understand that. Ah, ah. Suppose I am a human being. So, Do you know what you go? Have you you can I am a human being. You accept that uh, I have a soul. By what symptoms you accept that I have? First of all, we have to ascertain that. What is the symptom that we that we agree that I am human being? I have, I am a soul. By what characteristic, analytical study, you accept that I am God's soul? And the dog has not got soul. What are these different characteristics? First of all, we have to enumerate that thing. If we find in the characteristic, then we can say there is no soul. But if we see the both the animal and the human being uh, have the same characteristics of living condition, then how you can say the animal has not soul? His point was that the animals don't show the same symptoms. They don't think it's Why not? Why not? The general symptom is animal eats, you eat. Animal sleeps, you sleep. Animal has sex, you have got sex. Animal also defends, you also defend. Where is the defense? Well, his point was that human beings, they think on higher platforms than animals. What that are higher platform? Eating, you require to maintain the body. I eat something, you, you eat another. That does not mean higher or lower. You eat, I also eat. That's all. You eat according to your test, I eat according to, to my test. So the eating is the real symptom, not the varieties of eating. By varieties of eating, suppose uh, an animal, the cow, is eating grass. And you are eating the same animal by keeping a huge slaughterhouse with machine. Does it mean that you have improved your eating process? Simply by having big, big machine and ghastly scenes and the animal eats simple grass, does it mean that you are advanced than the animal? There is no logic. Eating is eating. One man's food, another man's poison. That is another thing. But eating is there. Somebody is poison, somebody is ordinary. But eating is there. So nobody can avoid eating. That is the main symptom. Even in human society, there are different varieties of food. We Indians, we like a different type of fish. European, American, they like different types. But eating is there. Either American, Indian, or cat, dog, eating must be there. That is real symptom. After eating, you must sleep. That is a symptom. So, where is the difference of real character? characteristic between the animals and the animals. 
that many point was that uh, we find that uh, God's creatures, many of them, not just human beings, but the sins of our life everywhere, that meat eating is allowed. So there are many in creation. That many That's all right. There's meat eating. That is another. First of all, he, the point is that he says that the animals have no soul. So what is the special point that you are speaking of the animals having no soul? You eat uh, meat or I eat rice, that doesn't matter. Eating is there. That is a common thing. He cannot say the animal does not eat or man does not eat. Only animal eats. No. Everyone eats. First of all, you enunciate. How do you say that the human being has no soul and the animal has no soul? What is the special uh, symptom? His, his point was that only in, human, in humans do we find a metaphysical search for the meaning of life. Yes. And that's the only difference. As the metaphysical search now, metaphysically search out. Why do you deny? Soul in the human being, uh, in the animal, that is metaphysical. It is metaphysical question. What is your metaphysical study about the living uh, yeah, animal that you say that there is no soul? Come to the metaphysical. You are thinking metaphysically, that's all right. But if you are still thinking like animal, then what is the use of your metaphysical study? If you are thinking like the animals, why shall I get my food? Why shall I uh, take shelter? Why shall I have a sexual uh, facility? How shall I defend? If you are thinking like that, this is animal thinking. Metaphysical thinking means beyond this. Beyond this thinking of eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. That is metaphysical. So what you are thinking beyond that, that is God consciousness. When a human being thinks about God, uh, that is metaphysical. When he thinks like animals about eating, sleeping, mating, and defending, that is not metaphysical. Metaphysical. Meta, what do you mean by metaphysical? First define. What is the meaning of meta? Above physical. That means spiritual. So, if you think spiritually, then you will see that the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna claims, Sarva Joni in all forms of life. The living entities are there and they are my sons. So this is metaphysical. Or if some third class man says that there is no soul in the animal, that is metaphysical. Which one is metaphysical? Krishna speaking will be metaphysical. Or a third class full statement will be taken as metaphysical. Which one is metaphysical? That's all say me. Then he made the point that uh, in a place like India, yeah. it's, it's foolish where so many people are dying of starvation not to kill the cow on some religious principle. Uh, that is another story. No, Indians are dying uh, as, not by uh, eating cow's blood. Uh, that, that is the theory that the present moment gives. Uh, But there are so many vegetarians in India. They do not touch bees or eggs or animals. They are quite healthy. It does not mean. I think his answer would be that vegetarianism is reserved to the rich people who can afford it. That if you're poor, you have to eat whatever you can get. Well, now in India, meat is selling at High price than vegetable. Huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so now an Indian meat is selling at a higher price than vegetable. 
That is not logic. Price of meat is higher than milk and vegetables. So in that consideration, why not take vegetable and milk? Why go to meat? Uh, 